right guys, just getting out here this morning. It's kind of slow going. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. All this slush on the ice now. So I decided to go the easy way where I'm comfortable. I was here last night and know I'm all right on ice. Definitely slushier than it was yesterday, but we're gonna set up a couple automatic fishermen, see if we can get some, uh, pick some walleye up, hopefully. Otherwise, I know there's nice crappie perch and uh, sunfish in here. So, multi-species day. See whatever we can get, that's what we're going for. So now I've been out for about an hour. Caught a few small perch. Oh, oh, oh. And I just got hooked up here. That feels nice. Oh. A nice jumbo. Come on, got the curls. And that clam rattle spoon. That thing has just been killer here in the dark water. We always do pretty good with the rattle spoon. It's a nice one, probably about a 10, maybe 11, somewhere in there. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'll take it. This is what we come here for is these nice ones. We always throw these ones back though. See you later, bud. Thanks for playing. So, like I was saying, it's been kind of slow this morning. Caught a couple nice uh, sunfish. I mean, not super nice, but you know, they, they were all right. They weren't small, little four or five inch. Looks like now they're starting to get fired up. They're just charging this as soon as it drops. Not as nice. See, unfortunately, you gotta pick through the little guys to get to the big ones, but you know, at least you're catching, right? <laughs> what I've been doing is I've been throwing a rattle down, making a bunch of noise. Seems like it draws them in, but they weren't hitting it, so then I would switch into something smaller with a little bit of plastic on there, and that seemed to be working initially here, but all of a sudden it's like they see this thing come down and they're just charging it so i'll take that that's a lot nicer to not have to switch rods around there's a couple nice ones down there this one's charging in pretty good come on bud oh, i just had an auto go off oh something there there's something there let's go chase down that auto just set this thing. Holy. That's what I'm talking about. That is why I come back. He just devoured this freaking sucker. Holy crap. Beautiful northern Wisconsin perch. I cannot. That's big. That's that's a nice one. See you later, bud. Thank you. Awesome. That was sweet. Oh, that one feels so uh, not so good. It looked better on the screen, but oh 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 oh. Nice crappie. Look at that. It's not bad. About a, eh, about a 10 inch perfect eating crappie. See you later, bud. Ooh, nice. Not a bad one. And that Widowmaker caddis cane again. Sometimes, like I say, it's like you see them come in and they look and see you later, bud. Come in and look at your bigger spoons and stuff. And if you can't get them to go, I just hurry up and get something small down there. That seems to seems to work normally. It seems like uh, they are a little picky today. They're a little finicky. You get some that just charge right in and they just eat it up and. You get others that, like this last one, he came in, he looked at it, and he came in, and he 
looked at it again and he just wanted nothing to do with it so it just all of a sudden he turned back around and cadence is a big thing you know one of the biggest things oh, one of the biggest ooh, As I was saying, one of the biggest things that I noticed is not bad, about an eight. Good eating and perch, but uh, you know, one of the biggest things I see guys do, and I've noticed I do it sometimes. You know, it's just all of a sudden you get this big mark coming in, and it just you stop. You know, and. Uh, sometimes it works sometimes it's it's fine and those fish actually want that but in other times not so much as soon as you stop they just disappear on you I just got the most monster Northwoods gold I've ever had he's a little look at this thing I don't even know what to say right now. I mean, this thing is as big. Look at that. All of a sudden it started snowing. And all the fish just started going crazy. It's a small one, but I honestly just caught one of the biggest perch I've caught here I measured it on the auto and it was 13 and 3 quarter and it's pretty uh, it's pretty sick I had hit up I don't know about a four inch sucker it slammed that I had the hooks quite a ways down actually I got more of blood but he swam away so hopefully he's all right that was Definitely one of the bigger ones I've got back here. He was, I mean, halfway up my freaking forearm. <laughs> uh, man, there's some huge fish up high here. I don't know what. It's got to be crappies. Oh, here comes the wind. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one, hopefully. Felt good. Just chowing, chowing that Widowmaker. And about a, about a 10, good eater, I feel. Guys, I don't understand where these came from. They used to never be this big back in here. <laughs> wow, just hammered that rattle spoon. I mean, wow, this is, Unfortunately, as soon as people come in back here, they're going to start taking all these out of here. But, I mean, we really, it's nice that we left it alone. I think others left it alone last year, and I can see. Oh, my. Can't even get it out of his lip. Look at this thing. <laughs> this thing is a monster. <laughs> Just a beautiful Northwoods perch. I mean, I really, that is, wow. Just beautiful. Sending them back. Oh, man, just so thick. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, guys, heading out, about to fire up the snow dog. Starting to snow again. It's a pretty good day, caught a really nice mixed bag of stuff. Some perch, some crappie, some sunfish. It was a good day, a couple of nice 13 or better perch. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna head out of here. Hope you guys, uh, hope you guys liked the video. Do a little snow dog video on the way back here.